I am Patty Willardson, founder of 3D Bows Academy, and today for our tips and tricks, we're going to be talking about how to do a touch-up. When we're doing a touch-up, we want to make sure that we're exactly in the strokes that have healed in there before. She's about a year out, so hers have faded, but I can still see where I need to go. So I'm going to make sure I have my three-point hold, get that skin nice and tight. I'm going to tap down first to make sure I like where I'm going to go before I make my pull. Tap down. Keeping that hand tool nice and straight, keep it at a 90 degree angle. Notice on my pull, I'm never going on my tip, never on the butt. I'm keeping it nice and flat. That's how you're going to get your heel strokes to stay crisp. Always tapping down before I make my pull, really, really gently, not enough to cut the skin. Just enough to leave a little bit of ink so I can see where I'm going to go. Now with microblading, remember you don't want too much ink on your tool. You won't be able to see where you're going. You always want that three-point hold. Keep that skin nice and tight. On a touch-up, if they have strokes that have healed, and they look perfect, the color is vibrant, it's bright, you don't need to touch it. Don't worry about touching it. Only touch up the ones that have faded. Another thing with a touch up, you don't need to go in between your strokes. You can stay directly on your strokes to give it that hair stroke look. If you go in between too much, it will turn into a powder brow. Okay, so I'm almost done with my section to do strokes. We're going to powder her tails because she wants a more filled in look. With microblading, if you have your clients come back to you and say, I feel like I'm still needing to powder them in, then they didn't really want a hair stroke brow. They probably wanted a powder brow or a combination of the two. They just thought they wanted microblading. So if they still feel like they need to fill them in more, you're going to want to do powdering. Once those strokes have healed, you can go in and powder them in on the touch-up. So that's what we're going to do now. With the powdering, we're not just tapping in the skin.